Desperate people do desperate things, and if you're the Biden administration about to be thrown out of office, well, guess what? Uh, we should all be very concerned about what comes next, because the liberal media appears to be falling in line with the Biden messaging, and all of the major newspapers published simultaneous stories warning that a Trump presidency would be a dictatorship. It's like they're all handed a big pile of the same talking points by the deep state, by the intelligence community, and then they all run with them and they all publish these stories. And that man cannot see public office again. He is not only unfit, he is destructive to our democracy, uh, and he has, to be, uh, he has to be eliminated. To be eliminated. What would a second Donald Trump term look like? Well, he cannot be the next president. Um, it, it, because if he is, you can't imagine the things that he's going to do. Mexico, Canada, we can't go to Canada because eventually Canada will become annexed to America and shoot visitors to the White House. Yeah, that means he can shoot the first lady. We're going to see violence, the likes of which we didn't even see on January 6th. Make it illegal to run against him, to throw his opponents in jail, to shut down the media. He will make himself into the Fuhrer and he will make everybody raise their hand and salute him. Using martial law against the American people. Terminate the Constitution. To rewrite the Constitution. Create mass internment camps. Throw everyone into Gitmo. Might be sent to jail or their rights might be suppressed especially minority groups in society. You might have any number of things happen to you and your family. Every one of us, our freedom, our liberty, none of us is safe. It's going to have people around him executing against an enemy's list. Assassinate generals. Ordering troops uh, to um, attack American citizens. Trump's very well-armed and extremist base will try to kill people. He's going to basically burn the house down. He will unravel the institutions of our democracy. Draw similarities between Mussolini and Hitler. Adolf Hitler and Benito Mussolini. Makes Donald Trump even more dangerous. He wants to take away your vote. Senate and the House are immediately going to be paralyzed. People will begin in their minds to censor themselves. They might say, well, maybe I shouldn't say this. This is the end of democracy yeah. i think that could be the end of our democracy but democracy is dead if trump is reelected. elected up to putin that democracy will be at risk the absolute destruction of the justice department as we know it the justice department could be entirely transformed i am really concerned about that every person who was associated with the attempted coup elevated in the administration if he's reelected. he will curb transgender rights and the rule of law arrest political opponents to persecute not prosecute to persecute his enemies. Take a wrecking ball to the rule of law. He's going to make the law. Everyone else will have to follow. A vote for Donald Trump uh, may mean the last election that you ever get to vote in. To go after the independent and free parts of American civic life. He would tear down our institutions. Purge the government of employees. Department by department effort to weaponize the powers of the government. To use the military to quash protests. Ridding the government of all democratic safeguards. Junking American democracy as we have always known it. That he would try to stay in office beyond a second term. I he would never leave office. There's no question. Trump is reelected. He won't leave. Donald Trump will never leave office voluntarily. And what that means is that everybody who wants us to remain a republic has to put every other thing aside and work together urgently right now to stop that from happening. What would a... So the level of rhetoric and narrative, it's reaching a boiling point because they're running out of options. But we are so far removed and detached from presidents and presidential candidates being shot at, we think is that it's this unknown concept. Gerald Ford was shot at in downtown San Francisco. Ronald Reagan was shot as president of the United States. Bobby Kennedy was shot and killed. JFK was shot and killed. Malcolm X was shot and killed. MLK Jr. was shot and killed. Like post-1990, we haven't had that happen in our country. And so we're so far removed that they make you seem as if you're a crazy person when you say this. But in reality, you look at American history, it is filled with presidents, presidential candidates, political leaders that have been taken out. And yet, as soon as the violence against Trump happens, they will justify it. Of course they will. If Donald Trump was taken out, God forbid, MSNBC would say, well, you know, you act like Hitler, 
don't be surprised to somebody. I, I, that's what they would do, 100 percent. And they're going to not, if they can't get to Trump, if the Secret Service continues to do their job, which I pray they do, they're just going to go after the next level down. They're going to go after some of the rank and file. The man who sowed hate reaped what he deserved. That's what they're going to say. Oh, you know, he created uh, this movement and F around and find out is what they're going to say. No, the level of rhetoric and narrative, it's reaching a boiling point because they're running out of options. But we are so... I, I, I just don't even know why there aren't uprisings all over the country, and maybe there will be. People need to start taking to the streets. This is a dictator. You know, there needs to be unrest in the streets for as long as there's unrest in our lives. Enemies of the state. Show me where it says that protests are supposed to be polite and peaceful. Do something about your dad's immigration practices, you feckless. When they go low, we kick them. How do you resist the temptation to run up and wring her neck? The biggest terror threat in this country is white men, most of them radicalized right up to the right. I thought he should have punched him in the face. So even if you lost, he insulted your wife. Yes. He came down the escalator and called Mexicans rapists and murders. He said, well, what do you think I should have done? I said, I think you should have punched him in the face and then gotten out of the race. You would have been a hero. I'd like to punch him in the face. I said, if we were in high school, I'd take him behind the gym and beat the hell out of him. Punch some people in the face. When was the last time an actor assassinated a president? They're still going to have to go out and put a bullet in Donald Trump, and that's a fact. Look as his character is stabbed to death. Where is John Wilkes Booth when you need him? I have thought an awful lot about blowing up the White House. A Missouri state senator is under investigation by the Secret Service after saying she hopes President Trump is assassinated. I will go and take Trump out tonight. And if you see anybody from that cabinet in a restaurant, in a department store, at a gasoline station, you get out and you create a crowd. And you push back on them. And you tell them they're not welcome anymore, anywhere. And sadly, the domestic enemies to our voting system and wow. our honoring our Constitution are, are right at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. They're not going to stop before Election Day in November, and they're not going to stop after Election Day. And that should be, everyone should take note of that on both levels, that this isn't, they're not going to let up, and they should not. If you think we're rallying now, you ain't seen nothing yet. No what things are going to look like in the future, just chart out what has been happening recently and ask yourself, are things accelerating or decelerating? Are they moving up, down, right, left? I mean, just chart it out. And in the case of Trump, they started with protests, they moved to impeachment. Now they're at indictment. None of it has worked. What's next? What is, what could possibly be next? If you felt, and you really believed, and a lot of them do, that the worst thing that could happen to the country, and more specifically to you, in the professional class is to have Donald Trump as president and everything you have tried has failed and they have been accelerating steps, protests, impeachment, indictment. Like how many more arrows do you have in your quiver? And what's the next one? And of course it's assassination and assassination happens around the world. I had dinner with former president of Haiti in my house last night. His successor was murdered in his bed in the presidential palace in Port-au-Prince. And he's hardly alone. People get assassinated. I mean, I, they've been assassinated in this country far more Just often in than Japan. we're willing to admit. It With happened in Japan. That's exactly right. So it's not it's not crazy. And of course, it's the last thing I want. I said it directly to Trump, by the way, because it's so obvious. How could you not say that? So I did. And he did not engage with me at all on that subject. And I don't know what he actually thinks of it, but he's smart. And so he must know that that's true. But why? So again, it's just another example of what you said a minute ago wisely. If you want to know what's true, Look at the things you're not allowed to say. You're not allowed to say them, not because they're conspiracy theories or lies. Right. You're not allowed to say them precisely because they are not conspiracy theories or lies. They are true. We're at war. You understand everything that's on your shoulders, do you? They are afraid of Christians that are populist nationalists. 
You are the greatest threat to the system there's ever been. This is why they fear Trump. Here's how worried they are about you. You got this guy here to Robert Kagan. It really did take someone like Trump that could be a real threat to our democracy. Now, what can we do about it? Well, as I say, we've already not done the things that we all agreed needed to be done. Those things have not been done. Kagan writes a piece in the Jeff Bezos Amazon Washington Post. It basically makes the intellectual and moral case for the assassination of Donald Trump. That Trump sees her. And Trump's got a bunch of followers like Caesar had. And then Brutus and other rational, reasonable men have got to sit there and take action. It is an outright justification, intellectually and morally, for the assassination of Donald J. Trump. Are you going to stand for that? If you wrote an essay like that and printed it off on Biden, they would come down and kick down your door in a New York second and drag you out in chains. You back there in the media, here's what we want. We want immediately the Secret Service to have a full investigation of Robert Kagan. I want to see every email everybody talked to. I want to see when Bezos approved it in the editors of the Washington Post. Washington Post, you are dangerous vermin. If anything happens to Trump or there's any move on Trump, you people will pay. But they're not going to do that. We're calling their bluff. You try it, we dare you to try it. We dare you to try it. Those sons of bitches try to destroy him every day, and he's still winning. He's still winning. We either win and save this republic with him as our leader, or you tell me what's after that. This is why you're now Christian nationalists. They're going to try to get you out of all your jobs. This is why they fear you. This is why they fear Trump, because of you. Trump can't do it alone. His shoulders are big, but they're not that big. He's a strong man, but he's not that strong. He can't carry an entire republic, an entire movement, and turn this thing around. Only you can. Are you with him?